We have already talked about Inspector and how we can use it, but let's see in detail what else the Inspector uh, can do that we haven't showed yet. Now, let's take the previous example. As you remember here, I have uh, saved uh, a number of uh, dictionaries inside the order collection clients. Let's inspect this. So we right-click and inspect. Of course, you can use shortcuts. Uh, every shortcut you see here, D, P, I, T, capital T, etc., etc., is, is you are going to need uh, what we call a command key to, uh, uh, to trigger it. So in case of inspected, which is I, you will need the command key depending on the, the operation system that you are. In uh, Linux, it's control. In Windows, it's alt. And in macOS, it's command. So let's inspect this. Now, the first thing that we are going to observe here is that inspector first tell us the type of the object. On in key case is the class. So it says here that this is an order collection that has three indexes. So already we know a lot about the kind of data we inspect. Now, the, this is not the only inspector that you can use. Another inspector, you can use the basic inspector. Now, if you see here, contrary to the collection inspector, is that the collection inspector gives us the, the object itself, so it actually tells us what kind of data this object really has, and then it gives us its index separately. The basic inspector, on the other hand, doesn't really give us the indexes. What it gives us is these names here. Actually, these names are the instance variables of the order collection class. So it gives us an array here with all the values, and then tells us what is the first index and which one is the last index. Now, another inspector we can use is actually very useful for order collections and other kind of data that it uh, encapsulates and contains other data uh, is tree inspector. It's actually very good for very complex uh, data structures. So in this case, it shows us uh, this is the, uh, uh, the order collection with all the data that it contains. And then it says us that we, we, in the first index, we have a dictionary with this data inside, and the second index, uh, another dictionary with this data inside, and the third dictionary, another data. Now, we can expand all this data and see its data separately. So it's key of the dictionary. We can see here the data and the key and the name of the key and the data and the name of the key for its dictionary. So this is actually very useful if you want to sit in tree-like structure, uh, very complex uh, data structures that uh, data is contained inside another data, which is contained inside, inside another data, etc. etc. Now, one very useful functionality in, call, in Inspector that I haven't actually touched, and it's actually very powerful, is that this area here it's not just for decoration. This actually here, area here is a workspace. But there's a difference with this workspace. This workspace is basically very similar to this. This means that it operates inside the live object. It doesn't operate outside the live object like it does here. For example, we, if we want to do something, we should use the object itself as a sender and then the message uh, depending on the object that it, that it is. In this case, however, because it operates from inside the live object, we use the self message, which actually says, I am the caller. I am the one that is going to, uh, you're going to send the message to. So because it is from inside the, the order collection live object we're using here, uh, we, can, we actually use it itself. And then we can use uh, any kind of message that this object can respond to. So let's say that we want to add a new index, add, and in this new index, we want to put uh, a simple literal array. So let's create a literal array, one, two, and three. And then, Let's do it or command D to execute this. And we immediately see that it has added uh, a literal a literal as the fourth index. This is an extremely powerful feature of the inspector. It actually can allow us to manipulate uh, data directly without having to create temporary variables in a workspace and doing all this kind of stuff. We can actually play with the data directly and this is one of the ways that Faro is doing live coding. And what live coding means is to be the ability to code and change your application while it runs. If you see here, at this moment, the application is already running. And it's running because it's in, in a memory. 
all this data here is in the memory and we can inspect all this data and we played it from inside the inspector or we can play of course from the workspace using the object and of course send in a message but from inside here it allows you to do stuff from inside the object and you can actually do a lot of stuff because everything is a message you can do some pretty impressive stuff with your data and manipulate your data without having to create classes and objects and do all these procedures just to play around with your data and this is very convenient so uh, and of course yeah let me another give another example let's say that I want to remove this index self remove at is the correct message for so in this case we say that we you should remove them the, the data at index 4 and of course because you remove the data at index 4 it's also deletes the index so if we execute this do it and of course uh, the fourth index is uh, 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 removed. Uh, another thing that I have shown, I don't know if I saw it earlier on, is that you can double click on the index itself and it's going to uh, open a new inspector from inside this inspector without opening a new window. Now, let's give an example. Let's double click on the first index. Now, the first thing you're going to see is that it, now it changes. It says that it's a dictionary. It has five indexes, which is, of course, the keys, uh, address, city, and country. We can actually see here. And we can continue and we can continue doing this now what you see here i'm going inside the byte link which is the first value that I'm, I'm inspecting here you can go back i'm going back so what i've been here by clicking on address i inspected the string and i will see later on strings are a collection of characters this symbol symbolize characters so with what we're doing now is inspecting the string and you actually go can go very deep like this. so you press back like you do with your internet browser, it sends us back to the dictionary and we are compressed back, it sends me back to the order collection. So we can see that uh, it's very useful, inspectors uh, can be very useful, very flexible and very easy to use to navigate around uh, not only control collections but any kind of data, any kind of objects. And that's all for now, see you on the next tutorial.